Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So let's start solving our uh, problem. So let's suppose we are having a date which is 17 August 1567. It's a, a random year uh, of different century, a random date and random month. So let's start. How are we going to do this, solve this thing? So uh, in every date, we have three things, the date, the month and the year. What we need is to find out the codes or the number of odd days in each one of them. Okay, so let's start for with the date. We have 17 as our date. All right. So, uh, to find out the number of odd days, we will uh, divide it by seven and uh, you know write down the remainder. So what I want is this: the value of 17 module seven, which means seven twice is three. So, so 17 gives us the code of 3. Now, we come to the month which is August. For finding out the, you know, the number of odd days of a month, I have this list of months and with their number of odd days. So you can see that every month has a number of odd days already written over here. You can find this list in the description box or, uh, and you need to learn them. You can calculate them it's very easy but it will take time during your competition or during an examination so it's better if you learn them because they are going to remain the same so we have august which is equal to one so we write over here as one now we come to ear ear is the most complex part of solving this uh, you know solution before that we need to remember three things number one uh, century ear which is a leap year has zero odd days that means years like 1200 800 2000 etc have zero number of odd days number two suppose uh, we create a table okay years number of odd days so this table you need to learn that in 100 years there are five odd days in 300 years there are three odd days and 300 years there is one odd day and in 400 years there is zero so the series says five three one zero you need to learn this and the third thing third thing is uh, that a normal year which is not a leap year a normal year has one odd day okay and the leap year has two odd days these three points you need to remember in order to solve the year so we have the year as 1567 first step is going to be that we need to find the largest century year which is a leap year of the according to this date so I can write um, you know the year before this is 1200 and after this is 1600 right so this is the largest year which is a century year and a leap year according to this so we subtract it with like this 1567 can be written as the sum of 1200 and 367 so according to the rule number one century year which is a leap year has zero odd days so it comes out to be zero now for this we will be uh, you know subtracting it and into dividing into two parts which is 300 and 67 for 300 sorry over here it's 200 okay so for 300 we have one okay and for 67 we need to divide how many leap years are there in 67 so we divide the, it by 4 to find out the number of years having 67 uh, have a, uh, are present in the 67. So 4 1 4, 4 7 6 16 years are the leap years. So we, I can write it like 16 leap year. And if I subtract it, I'm going to get 51 normal year. So according to the third point, normally here is one odd day. So 51 can be simply written as 51 because 51 
is multiplied one times is 51 and leap year has two odd days so it means it should be multiplied by 2 which is 32 51 plus 32 will be giving you 83 okay now we need to find how many odd days are there so we again do it the module with 7 which comes out to be let's do it 7 1 1 7 6 so this comes out to be 6 so if we look at here this is the number of odd days of from 300 and this is the odd days from 67 we add them we get 0 plus 1 plus 6 is 7 okay now we come here we add them also we get 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 7 is 11 11 is to be then moduled with 7 in order to find our final answer because we are trying to find again the number of odd days this comes out to be it's simple uh, it comes out to be 4 this is our answer because 0 stands for Sunday 1 for Monday 2 for Tuesday 3 for Wednesday 4 for Thursday and 5 for Friday 6 for Saturday so according to our answer we have got 4 which is a Thursday so that's how guys we can find out how to calculate it within a minute with practice you will get it more quicker and if you are having any doubt you can pause down in the comments below this method is applicable to all the kinds of years for leap year there is a slight change in the number of four days in january and february i've already written it and these months uh, you can find in the link in the description below and i have on the in that link if you go through it i have also written how to memorize all these codes according to the month so take care guys till next time signing out